Hey, it's Chris with Rode Dental Laboratory, and I want to discuss today the topic of transitioning uh, from a full arch immediate load prosthetic into your final prosthetic. Now, one of the steps within that transition is, of course, your printed try-in. Printed try-in is very important because that's a prototype of the final. This is what the patient is going to be wearing in their mouth, hopefully the rest of their lives. And we want to make sure that we get this thing dialed in just perfectly. One of those things we have to do is check for passivity, which is very important. Prosthetic isn't passive. Your zirconia or whatever your final material is, it's bound to break at some point if the, if the prosthetic isn't passive. So we want to check for passivity. The way we do that is called the one screw test or also called the Sheffield test. So how does the one screw test Sheffield test work? So we have the patient sitting in the chair and uh, MUAs are exposed and we are going to seat their new printed try-in. What we do is we seat it and we screw in, just hand tighten, screw in the posterior most implant. Once you screw that in, get it snug again, just hand tighten, don't crank this thing down. You want to look at all the other sites. If they are lifted up even a little bit, then that's obviously a problem for passivity. So say we screwed in this site and we kind of look and we kind of feel and push down. This site is engaged with the multi-unit abutment perfectly. And then you get to this one and there's a little bit of a gap. So what we do is we section the prosthetic right here. So now, because we know these two are passive, now we section this and we want to, we want to see, Hey, is this seated all the way? So now this one's down. We go to this one. Good to go. We go to this one and that one also is perfectly seating on the multi-unit and you get to the final one here and it's raised up a little bit. It's not seated. It's moving some. So again, we're going to section the appliance right here. Once the prosthetic is sectioned, now we of course have to loot these sections back together now that they're seated perfectly on the multi-unit abutments. So you can use some, uh, some acrylic. Uh, we recommend Stellar. Um, Voco is another good one or GC Pattern Resin. Uh, we just want to make sure that we loot it together uh, so it's not going to move in shipping. So now that we have this prosthetic seated perfectly, looted together, um, one little trick we recommend, because again, you remove this prosthetic, you put it in a box, you ship it to us. If it gets to us, we open this thing and these are not looted together anymore, so it broke apart in shipping. That's a problem. We can't just put it together, so then we have to have the patient come back in. One way to help avoid that is to do a pickup impression. So you have your temp cylinders, uh, maybe grab some longer screws and create an open tray impression uh, with this prosthetic. And then you can pick up the prosthetic um, you know, unscrew it in the impression material once the impression material is set and then pick this up. Send it in the impression material. That is going to help protect it also from getting uh, broken and shipping because again, we want to make sure this is as accurate as possible. Uh, from there, we're going to fabricate a new printed try-in for you. Uh, and once you get that, then you're going to want to dial in the bite, um, take a reline impression, make sure everything fits perfectly, and then we transition to final. But the most important thing is passivity. So. Um, one screw test, Sheffield test, do it every time. Another thing you, we want you to do is also take an x-ray. Once this thing is seated and you have it looted together after the one screw test, take an x-ray, make sure it's seated all the way on the x-ray, just as a kind of a double verification on this. So again, we want to make sure everything is perfect for you and the patient. If any questions on the one screw test, I'll leave them comments in, and leave it in the comment section below and we'll get back to you right away. Also, please check us out on our website, and if you could subscribe to our YouTube page for great dental everything videos like this. Thank you.